Sally had some bottled drinks. 60% of the bottled drinks were coffee while the rest were tea. She bought more bottles of tea. In the end, 40% of the bottled drinks were coffee instead. Now, they said that she bought more bottles of tea, right? They did not say that she bought more bottles of coffee, which means that the number of bottles of coffee remained the same. Now, they said what was the percentage increase in the number of bottles of tea when more bottles of tea were added to the bottled drinks? This, um, I labeled it under super tricky, um, under one of my texts. So really, really take note. This kind of question when they come up for examination, about 85 of the students will not get full marks for this. I can guarantee you. Let me draw the model for this question and then I'll tell you why it's so tricky. I'll teach you the way to do it. Okay, originally, this is before and after, right? Originally, there are 60%. So I'm just going to draw 60% first. Okay, I'm going to draw a comparison bar, which is just our top and bottom. So this 60% and this one will be 40%. And the 60% were coffee and the rest were tea. So this one is 60%. And this one is 40%. Now they said that she bought more uh, more bottles of tea. In the end, 40% of the drinks were coffee. If I suddenly increase this amount, this is the bottle, the additional ones. So I'm gonna put here additional bottles bought. After she bought this, right, the entire figure here from 40% increased to 60% because this one became 40%. Okay, so for this, right, a lot of students, they have no idea what to do. I'm gonna teach you a method right now. This method is this. The entire question over here, right, they only give percentage, percentage, right? Which means that they didn't give you the total number of, they didn't give you the bottle of coffee, they didn't give you the number of uh, tea as well. What do you do at this point of time? Give yourself a figure. Give, your, give it a figure. Originally, this is the amount, this, correct? Originally, coffee had 60%, tea had 40%. Now, I'm going to assume. Okay, so this is called the assumption method. Huh? Assume original bottle bottles of coffee. Instead of putting to 60%, right, I'm going to say that bottles of coffee, right, 60 bottles. And because of this, right, because of this, original bottles of tea will be 40 bottles okay just do this assumption method and it's still correct because if the bottles of coffee is 60 bottles and the bottles of coffee of sorry the bottles of tea is 40 bottles it's correct what 60 percent of them is coffee 60 percent are tea now after they have added in this additional amount you suddenly realize that this one became from 60 to 40 percent and this and that thing is now 60 percent correct what did not change here this did not change, which means that this 40% did not change over here. Now I can write this. 40% of all the bottles after adding on this one, this 40% right, is 60 bottles. Okay, since there is 40 bottles right, I want to find the total number of bottles here. Since this 40% 40, 40 of all the bottles is 60 bottles, I could have found out 100%. And this 100% will be the total bottles after additional bottles were bought. So it will be 60, so same thing as 60 divided by 40 times 200. 60 divided by 40 times 100 and throw this inside calculator this should probably be 150 <coughs> okay cancel 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 this one will be 3 over 2 3 over 2 times 100 da, 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 150 correct 150 bottles you can just put it inside calculator you'll be the same now originally how many bottles do they have originally they have 60 plus 40 after buying after buying more bottled waters, right, more bottles of tea, they had 150 bottles. Which means that what? She bought how many bottles? Originally only 40, right? And originally in total there's 100. But she bought 150, she had 150 in the, uh, in, the, in the end. So you take 150 minus 100, which means that she bought 50 bottles. So this is 50 bottles. This is actually how you do it. And this will be your 40 bottles. Okay? And this one no change, right? This one is still 60 bottles. Now, it's only when you have the absolute. It makes it a lot easier for you all to do the question. Now, they said, what was the percentage increase in the number of bottles of water, of tea? If you want to do percentage increase, remember what I told you previously. Percentage increase has always been difference over original multiplied by 100%. So what's the difference in the, uh, in the bottles of tea? The bottles of tea, right, originally is 40 only, but now it became 40 plus 50. 
So it's 90, right? So the difference will be this, 50. 50 is the additional bottle spot. So the difference will be 50 over original, original is what? Original is 40 bottles. 40 multiplied by 100%. So throw this into your calculator and you're going to get, uh, let me see, 125%. So there was an increase of 125% when more bottles of tea were added to the bottle rings. All right. So for this one, do the use the assumption method. If all they have given you are just percentage or like fractions or like ratio, right? Just use the assumption method, and you'll be able to get the answer. All right, done.